Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles, and you're probably thinking, man, that Caleb guy's been uh, under the weather for a long time. They're really not true, because we film more than one thing in a day, so we may have to knock out... Actually, Kirsten will probably try to make me knock out two weeks worth of crap in one day, or we probably won't get quite that much done, because I'm also going to be gone for a week. So, it is what it is. going to take a little time to go and see a few things I'll also share with you. One of them would probably be the Grand Canyon, which I probably won't film that, but we are going to go to Barizona. If there's anything cool there, I may film something at Barizona and kind of check out some animal parks, which you know I like to do. Spring break time, right? Most people go to spring break, they go to the beach and get shit-faced drunk, and me, I go to Barizona. I don't know. It's just, I guess it's kind of who I am. But let's talk a little bit about ovulations and what we're seeing so far this year. Um, again, really early in the season, check-in pace. I always like to kind of see where we're at. We're right on about the same pace we were last year, give or take one or two either way, which is par for the course, kind of what I'd expect. So A-OK -okay on that. Uh, we will be having eggs rather soon. It's time to get the incubator going, and we'll kind of start to go through that. So the first one up is we're just making some double head stuff for our own projects. Again, I like to make my own shit. Yes, there's quicker ways to do it, but I like to do it. It's just something I enjoy. So we're working on doing some lavender uh, pies. So, I mean, you know, are they going to be worth a shit ton of money by the time we do it? No, but that ain't really the point of why I'm doing it. Anyway, I, if you wanted to speed that process up, yeah, at this point in time, you'd probably be able just to go and there's a way to do it. I could tell you to speed up a lot, but again, I want to make my own so I know what stock it comes from exactly. So this is going to be a pied female to a lavender albino spider. We'll keep nothing with spider from this because I don't want spider in my pied. It's not a skull and negative spider. It's a spider pied. I don't like that combination, especially if you're trying to pull lavender in. This is a case of that gene will wreck that pairing because it's going to turn out to an all-white snake, which makes the lavender pointless. So I think spider's going to be gone. Build a hold back and do some breeding 100% double head stuff. We'll probably just wholesale the rest of the crap off. So, uh, there's that. So that one's already ovulated. Hasn't had a prelay shed yet. This one had a prelay shed uh, today, actually. I pulled the prelay shed out. That's Lesser Ghost to a Pastel Super Inch Vanilla Ghost. Again, this is a pairing that we just kind of do every year at this point uh, because we really like that ghost male. We really like that Lesser Ghost female. And it, it makes babies that are really pretty. Uh, we may eventually adjust that up, depending on if we pick up a different ghost male has some other genes. We've got enough ghost females we can share that around, and this is kind of where that is at the moment. Uh, oh, I saw lavender spider. I was kind of confused. So this is a cine to a lavender spider. Honestly, I didn't really choose that one. I, I mean, maybe we're going to do some lavender cinnamons. This is <laughs> it's actually not my... This is one of the snakes Caleb brought. We just really needed something to throw to it. And he said throw the lavender spider to it. So that's what we did. So that's going there. Lavender spider to cinnamon. Will we have any holdbacks there? I don't know. I, maybe some lavender, la lavender cinnamon stuff, possibly. But we'll see. Uh, the next one, ovulate right here. This one I'm really excited about. This is a fire yellow belly. Female, who's proven... Um, all these are actually proven that we got to. We haven't hit anything that we haven't proven out before. This has been bred to a brand new male, though, which is a blackhead mystic, yellow belly, or specter. We're not sure which yellow belly or specter. We're going to prove that out. Obviously, here, if it's yellow belly and yellow belly, we could get ivories, right? If it's specter and yellow belly, that's a different part of that complex. We could get super stripes. So I'm really hoping it's specter. Specter would be my preference in this male, uh, but we're going to find out. The reason it's my preference is I don't really want ivories that I can't see if we got blackhead and mystic and fire and all that other crap in, where if I get the super stripes, we'll be able to see a lot of that, and we can make some really cool babies if you had, like, say, a blackhead uh, super stripe, you know, or, or even a, a blackhead mystic super stripe would be really kind of cool. So that one's going. Here, super lesser to mystic potion. So this is going to make all bells, right? This is simply a bell clutch. We're going to make mystic lessers and Mojave lessers, you know, uh, which is pretty good so that's what we're after we really want to get a super mojave which we have to go with that mystic potion too so we can make mystic potions is something we always miss on this why it exists uh this one is a one of those exanthics that turns dark although it was only a head exanthic that people ask can heads do that they absolutely can that thing's black as night uh, and it's a true ghost head so it's head exanthic head ghost again one of those things where we made our own hats, so we know exactly what's there. Being bred to another het we made, which is a het true ghost spider. That thing has also gone dark. So uh, it is a sibling-to-sibling -sibling pairing, but we'll see what we can do with that. 
so far the odds have really screwed us on there. We've done that multiple years. We have gotten one true ghost out of it. It was a true ghost spider, but it had a failure to thrive. So yeah, kind of still waiting to prove that out. Well, not prove it out. We did prove it out, but still waiting to get one that we can raise up. Let's come over to this rack here. This is a, a female that skipped on us last year. We had two pastel exanthics both skip. And this is a pastel exanthic female that is, let me make sure I'm talking about the right one. Yeah, she is a, what you'd call a dark phase. Uh, some people have taken to calling it like asteroid or something, I think. But these turn dark. Now, is it genetic? I don't know. Nobody's really proven that 100% one way or the other. The male we're using is a pastel exanthic that's also very, very dark. As a matter of fact, it's thought to be black pastel, but it's not from proven from breeding. So it is a dark phase pastel exanthic bred to a dark phase pastel exanthic. And I'll kind of show you what I mean here. So this is 100% not in shed pastel exanthic. And you can see there how dark it is. I'm going to show you it's... Uh, other hold back which is not a dark face just to give you an idea i know girl this is a non-dark face right both are pastel exanthics both are adults both are proven breeders neither one of them went last year but they've gone the previous year for us both of them have already ovulated this year this will give you an idea of what we're talking about normal pastel exanthic has gone dark right um, only spot that's really a normal color left on it is the head and this just happened over time this one didn't go right away this one took a while to really start turning dark i i've had exanthics themselves go dark in a few sheds and pastel exanthics go dark in a few sheds we sold one that we got a picture back recently that's darker than this so this is kind of what happens with these come here baby girl put you back in there i know already there you are so we've already got her out. We'll go ahead and talk about her. She is also ovulated. This is one that did not go last year. This is one of the, probably the clutch I'm the most excited about so far that's ovulated. And I really hope it's this year's dad. He's a new dad uh, we raised up. And he is only a het. So we're going to have a het to visual pairing. So again, there will be no possible stuff out of the way of visuals or uh, hets. But the het, the father, is a pastel. So we can get the super pastel exanthic. But that's not really the part we care about. He's a pastel calico blitz head exanthic. So I'm really wanting to get uh, exanthic into that blitz, right? Oh, girl, what are you doing that for? Let me put you back. You're going to run around. So that's one of the things we've been wanting to do for a long time. With the way the pastel calico blitz looks, it's phenomenal, phenomenal snake. And so having that with the exanthic is only going to crank that up to uh, several notches. So really excited about that. Did I skip any over here, Kurt? I did, the killer bee. This one uh, just ovulated. It's one of the ones we found today that had ovulated. It was bred to our Blitz male. So this is a pretty simple clutch, but you can never make too much Blitz stuff, in my opinion. If there's two things I really love making, it's Blitz and Exanthic. Those are my favorite ones to really work with. Here you're going to have, you know, Pastel Blitz and Spider Blitz kind of sucks. I don't really like, as much as I love Spider and a lot of things, there are things I don't like it with. Blitz is one of them. It was one of those situations where that's a female we can kind of throw anything to. We really just felt like we hadn't thrown enough of that Blitz male. So we decided to throw it there. So that's kind of where that's at. And is that the last one? I think it is. So that is all the ovulations for now. I expect really in the month of April and May, we'll see a lot more ovulations all the way through June this year. So we'll kind of update as we go. Uh, out of all of those, Kurt, I already said what my most exciting clutch is. It's definitely, definitely, without a doubt, getting that blitz into Exantic finally, along with some calico and stuff in it so we can get, you know, some something I think is going to look really neat. What is your most exciting clutch so far here? The possible Spectre. The possible Spectre? Yeah, this is a badass clutch. I really am excited about that. You know, uh, blackhead something we have. We're working a blackhead female that we're also working the exact same way. So uh, she is not ovulated yet, and it's being bred to the same male. So we would hopefully down the road have a chance of some super blackheads. But this is having that super stripe in it, and I believe that's the part you're probably excited about, right? Kurt's wanted to do striped snakes for a while, so uh, this was one of our way of getting into it. Hopefully that specter proves out. If it doesn't prove out this year, you know, we'll probably start looking in the market for something that we know is a specter or a super specter just a or a specter yellow belly even no we'll probably look for a straight specter super specter just to go ahead and get that in there and get those striped snakes for him so uh, that's kind of thing this also um would be us working with production wise some genes we haven't produced yet and just the specter if it produces 
And we haven't actually produced blackhead. Did we produce? No. Our blackhead female did not go last year, I don't believe. So this will be our first time producing with blackhead. So that's also a really, really cool clutch. All right. Anything you want to add, Kurt? All right, guys. That is all I got. We will see you all next time.